Hi guys, I wanted to show where we're at with the crowdfunding or Kickstarter kits, the um, scoops and pieces and parts you see in front of you here kind of represent what would be coming in the kit. Now obviously these would be in a, a box, um, so it's a nice size. We don't have to get boxes that are ginormous to send you something that's fragile through the mail. Um, the scoops will come with all the the bottoms and sidewalls pre it's going to be injection molded um, these are 3d printed obviously because I'm prototyping and testing but um, doing it this way makes it a lot easier I don't think we'd have the ability to get a shape like this injection molded completely but even if we did they wouldn't really these parts wouldn't nest together. I don't have these glued at this point, but um, they wouldn't really nest together because they're all the same size. So trying to sit there and nest these parts wouldn't work. You can't just start prying the outer one open to try and fit or nest the other one into it. So it really, with eight of these in a box, it would be a very large box. I think you'd be dealing with a lot of damaged parts. As you guys would get these in the mail, um, scoops would be crushed, things like that. And we don't want a Kickstarter that's gonna be problematic from the get-go just because we didn't think it through properly. So the solution is basically gonna be, my thought process here is something nice and compact like this that is very easy for you to assemble when you get it. And basically, the two parts are nothing more than a top and a bottom, or a bottom and the sidewall and the top. And you want to come over to this side, hon? What you want to do is you want to start by putting the, um, the sidewall in at one end, probably the the upper side and then as you as you put it in it kind of seats itself and then you know that you've got it in when you can kind of wiggle it back and forth and it rides in the track so you would just want to push this piece forward to where it's you know, you don't have to try and get it perfectly flush. Just close is fine. And once it's seated in that little channel, then we're gonna include a little tube of super glue for everyone. And you would just go and put super glue. You don't have to run a continuous bead because you won't have enough super glue for all of that. But probably hit it in a number of spots. You don't have to do it inside and outside, but be sparing. You know, you you have a, a tube of super glue that will most definitely give you enough to get all of your scoops together. This one's already seated. See how it kind of wiggles back and forth there? Catch it at that. That's how you you know you've got it in then just push push it back against so you know don't try and get it perfectly lined up it doesn't matter it just has to be close and again then a little bit of super glue I'm not squeezing a lot of super glue I'm just getting like a drop to come out and then the biggest thing make sure you're your um, top is seated down into the groove properly. You don't want it like part way out sticking up somewhere here. I'll show you with the next one. Um, you don't want it seated here, but then out of the groove over there. And then when you start gluing it, obviously you have a problem. So once you get it seated in the, in the front, you just kind of follow it around and it sort of seats itself into the groove. Um, some of these, 
you're looking at it going, wait a minute, on this one it was almost flush at that end, and this one it's hanging over. Um, this one I've got a good half an inch hanging over. It's because I've been printing slightly different variations to try and get a good what I'm happy with. So I will be playing with that. Um, you know, don't worry about seeing variation in it right now because when you get them all, eight of the parts would be identical. The, um, the difference right now is I'm printing, I was printing some with, um, this, these have really wide grooves in them and then these have much smaller grooves. So I've been printing different variations to, to test what I'm happy with for the kit itself. And then there's going to be further testing when we go to the injection molder and we say, okay, now we need to see if you can produce these parts accurately enough that we can assemble them um, in a relatively easy manner, in a reliable manner, so that you, when you get it to your house, don't have to fight with it. Now, I just sat here and put two of them together inside of, you know... 30, 40 seconds each. So it'll take you a whopping total of maybe 10 minutes to put all of your scoops together and get them get them glued up. Um, I will, I'll go ahead and do this one yet. And then I'm gonna probably just stop filming because there's no point in putting them all together on camera it's I don't know I'm not sure we need to go to that that level now the super glue will take some time to dry and we'll have to get the right kind of glue for whatever plastic um, the kits are made out of so that it does in fact glue the plastics together effectively I'm thinking cyanoacrylate or super glue will be okay, but if it's not, we'll have to get a different type of glue. Um, you'll want to, I'm sure, let these set for a good, well, you know, probably just let them sit overnight. I don't know that even two hours would be enough when you're gluing plastic because it seems like plastic um, with super glue can be a little problematic. So my suggestion would be give them you know, a good eight hours to dry overnight or something like that to really set up properly. Um, we'll, we'll work those details out when we do the testing once we get the kits from the manufacturer after they've been injection molded. We'll try and find the, the correct type of glue to use. Who knows? We'll, um, we'll work on that. But the scoops would be this size and they're a pretty nice size as you can see. They're about um, one foot from the top to the bottom. They're really 11 and a half inches only because I couldn't print 12 inch ones on my printer and I'm not gonna sit here and fight you know for double the amount of time to try and get all these made. I figured I'm just gonna cut them down by half an inch to give a little quicker um, turnaround time for testing for getting things together. This one was originally um, one of my first, it was my first test piece. That's why the tracks on some of these were wider because it was to accommodate this material. But you can see the bowing that's happening because this material is being curved and bent and it doesn't want to. It's a flat sheet. The whole thing was like a, a four foot long sheet and I cut it to be six inches high by, uh, I don't know, 18 inches or something like that. But you can see how it wants to bow. And it was, it was a, a struggle. I'm not going to lie. I would never want to subject you to having to struggle with a material like this because I was trying to hold it and, and it kept popping out because the, the piece was under tension and everything. And I'm like, man, this is never, ever going to work. So what's the difference between that piece and the ones here? What what makes the size Because different? these are printed in this shape. They're not under tension. And so when that one's not printed? That was No, this the... is just this is just a sheet I could show you. They're just downstairs. They're eighteen inches long by six inches wide. They're just simply sheets. Okay. And my original thought was 
give you tops, give you bottoms, and give you sheets. And then we could have had everything in, in a simple, really flat box at that point. Um, but because these pieces would be trying to spring back to a flat um, shape, they were going to be problematic. And you don't want, I don't want to make people suffer or give the kids, um, you know, a bad name, get the Kickstarter off to a bad start just because we were trying to put together a kit that's really unrealistic. So many Kickstarters out there, or GoFundMe, uh, or Indiegogo, not GoFundMe, Indiegogo, they fail because the people haven't really thought through whatever it is they're giving to the public, and I don't want to do that. I already know that Harmony is an amazing product. What we're trying to do here is sort of miniaturize things down to a, a version that you, the consumers, can purchase, can play with, can check out and experiment with. It's not going to produce a lot of power, but it'd be enough to charge, you know, small USB devices and things like that. And it'll be a demonstration model that lets you see, feel, touch, and understand the principles behind Harmony. Um, the basic kit will be fixed, so there's not going to be any ability for these scoops to furl. They're going to be just um, fixed in, and they're not going to they're not going to move. So this scoop, for instance, if it was in here. Once it's locked in and then a dot of glue put on there to secure it, well, even before the glue's on it, it's not, it's not going to rotate because it's a square piece inside of a square hole. So it's not going to rotate. The scoops are just going to be in a fixed open position and able to produce power. So when you go out to test it outside or whatever, they're already going to be open to their maximum position. And the advanced kit that we're planning on selling with the Kickstarter would actually have the ability to um, furl, to open and close, and you could set the, the furling state manually. It's not going to be electronic. They're not going to open and close like the, the big four foot by four foot harmony down the basement that does it automatically. It's not going to, we could never sell a kit like that realistically. So it'll have a, a little switch that you can pull, set your furling state and push the little piece of plastic back in and kind of lock it. That would allow you to open and close the scoops to whatever degree you wanted them open or closed. Um, but I haven't even begun to test printing and checking out the advanced kits. So I'm only worrying about the basic kits right now. We want to test, you know, the size, the feel, and really, truly the performance of the basic kits. I need to get one together, assemble it to be four scoop pairs high, and then take it out in the wind and uh, do some testing. The cool thing, the really, really cool thing about these little units is they're small enough that we can hop in the car and I can actually hold the unit out the window as far as I can reach my arm out and then have my wife drive at whatever miles per hour give us six meter per second wind and seven meter per second wind. And we can actually do the testing right there in the vehicle as our wind tunnel. I don't have that capability with the big uh, full-sized Harmony prototype that I have down the basement because you can't just hold that out the window. You can't put it in the back of a pickup truck because there's all kinds of wind that's getting interfered with. Even putting this outside of the car, um, there's probably going to be a little interference from the car, but if I get my arm out far enough, I think it'll mitigate most of that, and it'll be a pretty good test for this size prototype. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and glue the rest of these up, and then we'll continue with another video showing once all of them are glued up, it would be, in your case, like the next morning, what you would then do to assemble them on the... Um, the shaft, the main drive shaft, and that's just going to be a dowel rod, a 3 8 dowel rod, 
that goes through and lets you assemble them on it. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and glue the rest of these up. I'll sign off and let you guys um, catch up with me when I do the next video on how to assemble things. If you'd like to support us during this time, patreon.com slash creating more. Again, patreon.com slash creating more. It will be in the description down below. And you can um, also find any links to the other videos that we have explaining the Kickstarter in more detail, seeing the design sessions that I did where I was actually designing these scoops with a um, group of people interactively. And um, we'll go one step at a time and enjoy the journey together. Thank you very much. Take care, guys.